Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you about the Plotly plot and uh, especially I'll be talking about here a sunburst plot. A sunburst plot is a kind of a plot um, where you can visualize the relationship between the multiple columns together. And uh, it is also known as a wheel plot and this is really going to be a very interesting plot. So the first of all, I'm going to show you how you can install a latest version of the Plotly if you do not have. You can simply type there pip install Plotly. All right. So it will install a Plotly in your computer. And after that, you need to check that which version uh, of the Plotly you are using. So how you can check that import Plotly as py. And then you can simply type there the py underscore version. All right. So it says that I'm using a Plotly version 4.7. All right. So the first of all, um, I'm going to import here the Plotly Express. Uh, the Plotly have especially the Plotly Express and the Plotly Graph object. A Plotly Express is a kind of high level API interfaces for the Plotly. But uh, graph object, plotly graph object provides more control on the figure aesthetics. Since uh, we are going to do here a rapid uh, prototyping of the data visualization. So we'll be using here plotly, uh, plotly express. So the first of all, we need to import the plotly express as a PX. So we can write here import plotly dot uh, express as px so we have got here a px if you want to know more about the px then you can type there the p help px so it's it, it will uh, print you here a complete documentation about the plotly express and uh, here it says that this is the high level wrapper api for the plotly and uh, it has a many type of the function here like it has an area Okay, with the I mean the px dot area, you can calculate the area plot. Apart from the area, you have many other type of the plots. Let me show you. Then here you have the another type of the plot like a bar plot, and then similarly you have many other kind of plots. Here we have a, a choropleth plot, and uh, after that, you see there. Uh, yes, after the choropleth plot, let me go here. You have here a choropleth map box plot and there's so many other kind of plot you can uh, plot with the Plotly Express. Here we have a density contour plot. All right. So these are the, uh, the documents about the Plotly Express and the Plotly Express have another function which is also known as the Plotly data, uh, Plotly Express data. So that you can get it with the px dot data. And uh, if you run it, you will get here. There is a function uh, and it is inside the plotly express data dot py. This function have many methods. All right. So if you want to know about the methods, you can simply press here a dot and the tab. Then it will uh, show you some suggestion. So the px dot data, then it says that we have the data about all these, uh, uh, about all these, uh, 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 all these uh, things like uh, care, share, election, iris, tips, wind data. All right. So these are the some uh, the data set which comes uh, pre-built with the plotly. So here I'm gonna use load tips data set. If you remember this tips data set. Uh, we have been using previously in many of our plots and uh, let's go ahead run it and in the data frame now you have here uh, these seven type of the columns like a total bill tape sex smoker day time and the size so what this says that this says that what is the total bill uh, while having the dinner or a lunch and then how much a tip is given to the waiter and then uh, what is the uh, the gender of a person uh, who was having the dinner there, male, female, and whether they were a smoker or not. In fact, these were for the dinner and the lunch as well. 
and uh, then it says that uh, uh, the what was the day sunday monday i think uh, it is a thursday friday saturday and sunday so just four days uh, data is recorded here and then it says that there is a time like a dinner and the lunch and this says at the size all right so what i'm gonna do here I'm going to plot it with the sunburst plot. Sunburst plot do the plotting with the categorical data. So it's really simple. So for the sunburst plot, the first of all, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take its output, return output in the figure. Then I'm going to type there the px dot sunburst plot. And after that, if you press here shift and the double tab, then you will see here a data frame, name, value, parents, path, etc. So the data frame which we are going to use for the plot, I'm going to use here uh, df. So the, this df will be uh, including all the type of the data. Then I need to also pass here the column names, a uh, categorical column names, which I want to plot with the sunburst plot. So that I can pass in a path argument and those are a day. And then I have here a time and uh, all right so day time and after that i'm gonna plot it for a six now if you see here so these are the only um okay so these are the three and there is a smoker as well so i'm also gonna provide here a smoker all right so there we have a smoker all right so these are the four uh the uh, the categorical data columns and now these will be the plotted after that i'm going to type there the fig dot so all right so it will plot here and but i also need to provide here the values okay against which these will be the plotted so the values i'm gonna provide it here the total underscore bills so against the total values all these things will be plotted once I plot it, then uh, you might be able to understand it in more better way. Okay. All right. So it says that uh, the value of values is not the name of the column in the data frame. Let me see. Yes. So it's actually the total underscore bill instead of bills. All right. So let's go ahead and plot it. So once I plot it, it might take a little time to show this plot. All right so there you see this plot and this is really very beautiful plot and with this plot there are many things which you can see here uh, let me show you like there you have here a four days sunday saturday uh, in fact the thursday friday saturday and the sunday and uh, it's like day time six and the smoker all right so to make it um, in a more better way what i can do here i can put a smoker here and uh, then i can i think uh, put day here all right so i'm gonna put here day and then it's gonna be there a time six and values so with this what i get here all right so there is a smoker and uh, non-smoker non-smoker is uh, high it's uh, with this wheel you can see there it's more than um, half of this wheel is covered with the non-smoker and in these non-smoker we have the mostly sunday saturday and the thursday more number of people especially on the sunday and then there is a friday very less number of non-smoker but the smoker on the friday there is more number of smokers on a friday all right and apart from that you can get a lot of the information if you click on this one it will only show you a non-smoker data then again if you click it then it will again go back to the original state then if you click in uh, on this s value and then these are the smokers let's say click on a shutter day then you get there is a saturday and then dinner and then male and the female so with this let's say there is a saturday and the saturday people did their dinner and now it says that what was the percentage of the male and the female so with this it can be seen here uh, very clearly that around 60 or the 70 percent people were male 
and uh, around the 30 or 40 percent uh, it, it seems uh, uh, the people uh, the customer were female all right so then again you can click on then you can go back and similarly you can click on any of these um, you know any of these plots then again it will go back and then you can keep clicking and it will again return to its original state all right perfect so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna save this static plot here all right perfect with this you can save this plot and later you can use it wherever you want to use this plot all right perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks for watching i'll see you in next lesson